house. 12 o'clock and 6 miles. Headed for the scout ship. You heard the general? Fire at will! Target down! They're not turning! Hold your course! Hello there and welcome back to my channel. Today we're starting a new series, Stargate Timekeepers. Let's continue to watch the rest of the cinematic before we start with our commentary. Hey! Over here! What? Eva? Max! Oh. Are you gonna give me a hand? Uh, yeah. No, uh, ma'am. Uh, can you move? Are you, uh, okay? I'm alive. Is there anyone else here? No one that's breathing. What about SG-1? Have you heard anything? Yeah, over here. I'll show you. See over there? Call warriors. They're trying to break through the ice. Is an SG-1 down there? Yeah, the old outpost of the Ancients. We've gotta stop the cult. You know what could stop them? That cliff. If it fell down on top of them. Yeah, that would require a lot of firepower. And what about a ship's cannon? Yeah. Yeah, that might do it. Okay, let's try it. We'll head to that ship over there. Oh, have you got any weapons? Only my fists. Same. So, we'll have to find some. Let's get looking. Okay. So, this is a new game. It came out yesterday, or the day before. We've already played the demo on, this, uh, on our channel. And I found it to be quite fun. And uh, now we're playing uh, basically the same mission, just in the game. Sounds the full like release. SG1. So rank. while this is a primary, this is mostly a Riddler 2 on the Yuri's Revenge, or let's just say Common and Conquer channel, I do enjoy this kind of games. Uh, I've played Aliens Dark Descent, I've played Partisans, and uh, one more game that's kind of like this. Now you're talking. Uh, and I kind of enjoy them, so I decided to. Uh, play this one as well, because Stargate is one of my favorite shows ever, or at least it was, when it was on the air. Sure I've watched Stargate SG-1 probably over five times I'm each with. episode, Stay some more. Uh, and same goes for Atlantis, now while well, SG-1. I think That's I watched each episode maybe twice. Saw each other? Look, Bolton, we so, need to focus, okay? Roger okay, that. now we're playing uh, okay. through no problem. this first mission, and I'll be honest with you, I'm doing the commentary after I've played, so I'm watching my gameplay and doing the commentary, so, so what is it? just to you be honest with you, so you know casings, what I'm doing. Bite me. Uh, I think this, is where this will be easier for me, because if I'm playing, uh, I'm focused on the game, and I won't be able to talk as much and with no face camera that's just uh, I don't think that would be very interesting for you and this way I can I can basically say what's going on maybe Here go on a go. rant about uh, the old series the SG-1 so right now we're sneaking uh, on Antarctica where we were shot down in the battle, battle on, in Antarctica so basically we saw that battle from three perspectives right now from the SG-1 perspective, from the perspective of Cameron Mitchell in the season 9, season nine of SG-1 opener and now we see the same scenario from the, this game's perspective. 
Now, end of this first five minutes of the game. Uh, the game is pretty fun, Let's go. but it, there's a lot of clicking. Basically, to okay, let's shoot these guys. And I'm shooting these guys because uh, of the thing I just wanted to say. There's a, a lot of clicking to do to basically incapac uh, to disable. I don't know the a better word talking? right now. Uh, the enemies. So basically, you have to click on them once to knock them out. Click them again to tie them up. And basically, if you click on the uh, interact button before you finish the early interaction it won't work so I have to wait for the character to st uh, stop uh, let's say tying the Jaffa I have to wait for it for the let's animation go. to finish and then you have to click the interact button or the, the interaction will just be lost you'll, you'll see that as the gameplay goes on that I had to click a few times to get it right Unable. Now, again, to be honest with you, I've uh, deleted all the reloads. I think I reloaded like five times in this uh, first uh, Got an idea? mission, but that was because I've already, I already knew mm -hmm. the mission from the demo. So in the, in the second mission I got quite confused a few times, so I had to reload uh, 10 plus times. Anyway. Uh, yes. What we have to do right now is get through these uh, somewhat closed up uh, corridors to the end and uh, control a cannon so we can crush Perfect. the ice on some soldiers they are trying to get to SG-1. If you watch the series you know Let's that go. SG-1 uh, discovered some kind of outpost in the, in the Antarctica. And yeah, they're trying talking. to make it work to destroy the Anubis uh, ships. Now, in the show, that took like, uh, I don't know, a few I'm minutes. Affirmative. So, in this game, obviously, a few minutes is not enough for a single mission. Let's move. So, they have ex they've expanded that time from when uh, SG 1 gets to the Antarctica until it, the end happens. Uh, some people yep. under my comments sure for the demo some people find that uh, kind of breaching the lore or the canon while I just think uh, the game is a different right medium so hey. expanding on that like. is not really a, such a problem Roger. and uh, since m multiverses are a thing in uh, Stargate lore Got it. it doesn't really make that that big of a deal because you can just pretend that the yep. game is uh, happening in another reality. Okay. Uh, now weapons in this game so far are very 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 useful. Right. We're armed and ready. But Let's you go. don't have that much ammo, so you have idea. to really be Let's careful go. when you use it. I'm uh, hiding these bodies. These bodies. Normally, Here we go. in this uh, mission. I wouldn't really need to do that because there are no patrolling uh, units uh, once I get past this section an there's idea. no one no that will come from another side Got an idea. so that was something I did that was really unnecessary but in I found it to be a good practice what for later missions for anyway? it's some kind of weapon left by now this is a really nice thing you can do. The ancients, you can the toss the enemy bodies the over the cliffs. But didn't you listen to the briefing? So this yeah, is another useful course. thing in well, that no, will be useful I in uh, later missions. Points. You really haven't changed at all. So I could, you can hide the bodies in bushes, throw them on the edges, and such things. Uh, but right now, that's like I said, it's not that useful. Sure but uh, I'm going to do it anyway. And have oh, a look, blind darts. Okay, you can use them to blind the uh, Jaffa, then knock them out, tie them up, and then pick them up. 
and I'm going to do like I said, throw the body off the edge. Now this is a great, great, great idea, but I kind of dislike the animation when the, the fly is falling, it just glitches out. But I I guess that's something they can, f yep. it's not a big deal and Oscar they can Mike. fix it in a patch at a later update. Another useful thing that this game has is the reminder to save. At the top, at the top, there's a that's a box and it reminds you how much time it was since your last save. I find it very useful because when I played uh, Partisans a few months back, I often found myself uh, that I didn't save often enough. So when I messed up, I had to replay like whole sections of the map. So having a reminder there is uh, really, really useful. Okay. I can see it now, the top last save, 43 seconds ago. I think the timer is, uh, shows up a bit too, a bit too quickly. Uh, I could, it could wait at least a minute, not half a minute. So maybe that's something I can turn uh, off and or adjust in the settings, I haven't checked yet. I'm now just looking what I can do to get past the, these uh, three or four Jaffa. But I think Let's I'll go. have to f fight through them. Which kind of shouldn't be a big deal unless we alert more. What is it? Right on it. This uh, one of our characters is a sniper, so taking yes, affirmative. Uh, as I was saying, one of our characters is a sniper, so that uh, taking um, at least one of them out should be my priority. But I guess I I'm trying to take out all three out at the same time. I threw. A Welcome. I messed up. I kind of wanted all three uh, to shoot all three, like I did right now. I tried to do it earlier, but I tossed the, uh, the shell casing of a bullet too late, so one of those Jaffa didn't hear it, so it continued on its path. But other than some damage to is it Lieutenant Colonel Eva, no, it wasn't such a big deal. Let's hear it. But now uh, I guess I'll be, have to be more careful with uh, her character because Oscar another Mike. hit will be game over. Here we go. Awaiting orders. Need another useful um, ability. Okay, I guess I'm trying again with the uh, shell casing. Uh, I found uh, using uh, F1 and F2 buttons to switch switch characters kind of uh, annoying, but uh, I'll change that combining later probably, if I can. I haven't checked yet. Because I often press just 1 and 2 instead of uh, F1 and F2. I'm not used to this, that con configuration. But that's a minor nitpick that I can probably Let's change. Go. Now, this next enemy you see and on the left, right here, that's a Cold Warrior, and it's kind of uh, it's uh, impervious to normal weapons. So we can start it with a special hit from Lieutenant Eva. So I'm going to do that so I can get some uh, P90 bullets from the chest over there. Unfortunately, I cannot tie the call warrior, but which is canon accurate. Those are supposed to be very, very hard to beat uh, enemies. Though at uh, later seasons, as uh, the Stargate Command figured that out. Okay. Uh, 
uh, I've watched the IGN review of this game and basically the biggest gripe the reviewer had with this game is that you're kind of thrown into the story or rather the uh, Stargate world. Nothing is explained, you just, you're here, you do the mission, figure it out. Welcome. So if you're not familiar with uh, Stargate, it's kind of... Uh, you're thrown in the deep end of the pool, not the shallow, so... Okay, quickly. Uh, while I'm figuring out what to do next, uh, while I'm doing the commentary for the first mission, I'm not sure if I'm going to do commentary for this uh, yep. uh, in each episode because, like you can probably see, I'm not a good go. talker. I'm mostly the listen and observe type. And here we see Max using his uh, sure sniper ability. Which, uh, now that I remember, I kind of don't like that the enemies don't uh, make more of a panic about their comrades being dead. I cannot save, but he searches just in the vicinity. I mean, I'm in the Partisan game, most of the enemies are alerted once you sh they find a body. Now just two of them are just like slightly searching. Let's go. Anyway, as I was saying, uh, I'll probably not be doing commentary for each episode. Now you're talking. Because I'm not too much of a talker, I'm more of a listen and observe kind of guy. And uh, I don't know. I don't do commentary for Red Alert because I don't no think problem. I can. I have much to say, or at least I feel. I don't feel. Uh, good enough to kind of uh, explain things to other people that are better at the game than I am. But here uh, I can talk about the story, I can Affirmative. talk about uh, the show, so maybe I'll do a few more, but um, like I said, I'm not sure, but I feel it's... Uh, I feel obligated as a fan to do commentary, at least at the first, uh, on thing. the first mission. Let's move! Okay, so we need to uh, stun this call warrior underneath us. This took a few attempts because the call warrior has a great uh, yeah. sight and he kind of saw us no. behind that rock we're going to be hiding. Now you're talking. Look how close we go to through the Jaffa, past the Jaffa. Your thing. I see. Yep. Up. Oh, shit. Talk. Yeah. Now I usually died here because the uh, the Colvore saw me through the cliffs. He didn't even see uh, Lieutenant Colonel Eva. That was kind of inside, but he saw Max through the the what rocks. So I figured out if I stun him twice in a row. That Let's might go. work. This whistle uh, ability is great from Max. It That's lures the, the enemies nearer so you can knock them out. It's kind of a same concept as the casing shell that Eva throws, just in reverse. And a bit more powerful because Need if you something? whistle, they come to you. If you throw this cell, uh, no the bullet casing, they just turn around to where it dropped. Look, <laughs> silly animation of the go. drop. Let's move. Okay. So, right now, I need to distract those three Jaffa on the right. I'm not sure what I'm waiting. Okay. So we're going to be whistling them over. Let's go. I Oscar Mike. Okay, and shoot them. 
great. This uh, P90 shot is very, Welcome. is very uh, useful or effective. I might, I should say. If you saw that, I just reloaded Shoot. because something messed no up. I rather I messed yep. up by going to the bodies from the wrong direction and the, the patrolling to find the right saw me. Like it's uh, almost saw me right now. Now okay. you're talking. Let's hear it. I probably don't need to Oscar Mike. get rid of every Jafar right here. I could sneak past them, but I kind of like the. I like to hide. I like to be feral and get rid of everyone. Now I would get talking. rid of everyone on the map if I could. But I don't think there's an accomplishment for that. Okay. So now we have to be just careful that like we don't get seen by those call warriors over here. And the patrolling Jaffa. Let's go. Got it. Okay, now we're waiting for the Jaffa to move on his patrol path past that opening. No okay, here we go. And look, right as we're it. almost seen by a call warrior, really call warrior have weapon, really, really long sight. Right where we want him. His whole fleet is here. Only if we can find and, and another mistake I was doing here is I was battle, crouching. If you're crouched, then uh, nothing dampens your rosy outlook. They don't really see you on those uh, striped areas, just on the full sure cone areas. Again, taking advantage of that whistle ability. Oscar yep. Mike. Max is really, really good at uh, this. You call them by whistling and then you blind them and knock them out. Talking. Really, really useful. Uh, Eva is a bit more limited on, in this area. Let's go. Okay. I cannot dart them, but I probably sure can snipe them from that area, from that range. I'm listening. Got an idea? Here we go. No problem. Okay, first get rid of this one. Got an idea? Just so we can be, uh, sneak past him later. As I can see now what I'm. What I was talking about earlier. I uh, stunned him, but I already before he was actually stunned. I already clicked on the sure hand button, so it got deselected after it. He was stunned. Let's go. Okay, and now I'm trying to lure the other guy near, but uh, I realized it won't, it's not going to work. So now I'm just talking. going to snipe. Now, this is another thing I was talking about earlier. I kind of don't like this from the AI. Uh, his comrade fell right behind him with a sniper That's rifle cool. shooting, so at least he should hear the sniper or his allied falling. Welcome. And he did neither. So, and right now Here he doesn't go. see Lieutenant Eva sneak upon him. I think the AI needs a bit, a little bit of, a little bit more work done to make it more believable. I mean. Roger. It's still fun, and don't get me wrong, but it's not believable. We can't do that. And he glitched right through the eyes. Got it. Now you're talking. Okay, we're here at the last stretch of the first mission. We've got to hurry. Or SG One could be in serious danger. Maybe they don't need our help if this ancient tag is so great. We could just sit back and watch the show. Ever the sniper, Max. 
Affirmative. Okay, this is a bit more difficult because there there's a larger amount of units here, or rather Jaffa. Uh, but since I've already played the demo, I kind of know go. what the easiest path through it through this is. Try again. First, we get get rid of uh, this one. Let's patrol. Uh, let's uh, look in that way because the sure thing. he's looking right in the direction we need to go. Yeah, here we go. No problem. Oscar Mike. And we hide the body. Again, it's kind of unnecessary in this mission. But it's uh, go. good to develop uh, good habits for later missions. Here we go. Okay. Now we go no take problem. care of the patrolling Jaffa. And now we're going to go on sure the thing. left of this uh, wreckage. So we don't need to worry about those four Jaffa on the right. Now you're talking. Save again. And now it gets get uh, Lieutenant Eva to the, the same corridor. Again, I should be sneaking. Let's move. But when you're sneaking, you're kind of slower, so it's it's kind of uh, dependent on the situation right and how large that cone is, or rather, how far away from the. Okay, reload. Right I it. messed up something. I think I got Lieutenant Eva killed, so let's try again. I think this is f a fairly simple one. Let's, uh, Let's go. call this Jaffa near and repeat what worked for sure us thing. so far. No problem. Luckily, he doesn't see him. He's right on the edge of those uh, striped uh, lines Oscar of the cone. Mike. Let's get in position behind those. Uh, oh, Here we go. Behind those uh, wrecked uh, wreckage uh, parts. Sure thing. Once you get the hang of it, it's kind of kind of easy, or rather not easy. It's uh, second nature, so you can advance. Uh, the level much faster than you than I was for example at the start I was misclicking and all stuff and all, all that stuff but right now it's going well now you're talking and now we basically just need to get rid of one hey. more Jaffa before we can fi actually fire at the wall and help save SG1 or two. I'm not sure. Maybe two. No problem. As you can see right now I'm, every, I'm doing everything with Max Oscar because Mike. he has full health while Eva is on his on her last uh, line. Sure thing. Each character has uh, can take three shots, as you can see, by three lines under the portraits yes. on the we'll left go. bottom corner. We're we almost at the end. No problem. Sure thing. 
Now this is another thing I don't really like about this uh, level, I should say level. Uh, now you're talking. You see those fortify at the top of the screen right now? Uh, top left now? Let's go. They're, they're kinda yep. not important, I mean... I can live with them alive. I just need uh, to get past them, or rather not past them, I just need to get to the ship. Uh, I, right now I'm trying, I'm trying to have to kill them, but that's not necessary. I just have to use the, the highlighted Shoot. ship part. Sure thing. I'm listening. Let's move! It's kind of unnecessary even to shoot them. So uh, right now I don't remember. I have to press shift before clicking. Yeah. Let's move. So here it is. The last. You can see those Jafar disappeared. That's that's what I don't like. They should be there. I didn't kill them. Cover Where me. have they gone? Roger. At least have them there and not see you doing stuff. Okay, now we're going to shoot. I think I've got it. Cover your ears. There, this is the end of the mission. Uh, like I said, I kind of like this first mission. Uh, it starts at the end of season, season 7. It, it starts in a familiar territory, so it, it, the story can branch out and do its own thing. But it starts in something familiar. Okay. Like I said, I kind of like this game so far. It's in the, it's just the first mission, so maybe some things are going to frustrate me later on. So, see you in the next uh, mission, I guess, uh, with or without the commentary. Anyway, have fun. See you later.